How often do you eat dessert? I'm talking about real desserts like cookies and cakes and things that your dentist asks you to stop eating. Of those desserts, I have three a day. I'm a baker. It's my job to eat sweets all day. However, I know that I'm eating way too much sugar and I finally want to do something about it. Seeing as it's National Fain Concern About Health Month, I am going to try and reduce my sugar intake by replacing three traditional desserts with three retro diet desserts. All of which come from Mary Lisko's 1976 book, The Happy Looker. Between the slightly depressing journal-like entries in this cookbook, Mary does swear up and down that these recipes will help us forget about their original counterparts. And admittedly, she does say that she has a sweet tooth, but I'm not going to take her word for it. I'm going to put these recipes to the ultimate test the blind taste test. But I'm not going to be completely unreasonable and I'm not going to pit these up against their homemade counterparts. I'm going to compare them to their store-bought versions because I really don't think that anything can compare to a sugary home-baked dessert. Before we get started, I'm going to show you how to make your own liquid sweetener because I refuse to let you pay for that overpriced Splenda water on the shelves. Let's get started. To make a liquid sweetener, instead of buying the liquid version of this, which is quite expensive, you can simply buy this. Or what I do is I go to the bulk food store and I buy monk fruit sugar and I just refill this up. Anyways, to make your liquid sweetener, it's exactly the same process as to make a simple syrup, which means we are going to put equal parts sugar and water in this pot, bring it to a boil, turn it off, let it cool, and it's ready to go. I don't know how small her blender is, but my blender blades are barely even hitting the gelatin and lemon juice. So I'm just going to make sure that the gelatin touches liquid so it can dissolve. Oh, Mary, owner of the world's smallest blender. As she says, take off the insert. The insert back on. One thing I want to mention about the cottage cheese is because this is a diet cheesecake, Mary probably used the lowest fat content version of cottage cheese available, but send me to pasture if I ever buy the lowest fat version of anything. This is 4% cottage cheese. I'm not trying to reduce my fat here, I'm trying to reduce my sugar. At this point, I'm going to just scrape the sides and then give it another mixing. Put this aside. Okay, we've got our egg whites, pinch of salt, and we're going to whip them to stiff peaks. Good luck to me bringing this to the fridge without spilling it. Well, that was easy. Okay, another blender recipe. We might need a little help from a spatula. Let's go. I don't wanna get burned. Let's just take a second to say for all of those people out there who I know exist that think that maple syrup doesn't count as sugar, let this maple extract be proof that maple syrup does in fact count as sugar. Ooh. Ah! No, it's not very thick. Maybe I should add another cube. What a mess better be yummy. Apparently you can eat it right away, but this doesn't seem thick enough like a marshmallow. Tempted to lick it. No. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the fridge, clean up this mess, and then let's go shopping for the real versions of these recipes.
That mission was a lot easier to accomplish than I thought it was going to be, so let's go home and get to the blind taste test. Are you ready for Food Battle Royale Dessert Edition? On the right side of your screen, we have Team Store Bought, featuring pumpkin pie, New York style cheesecake, and maple marshmallow. On the left side of your screen, we have Team Sugar Free, featuring crustless pumpkin pie, crustless cheesecake, and maple marshmallow whip. These six desserts are gonna go head to head with each other in three consecutive rounds, in which one bite of each is given to each of the two taste testers. After each round, the taste testers will declare a winner. And after three rounds, one team will be declared the ultimate winner. One thing I want to say before you say it is, yes, I know that these two are extremely different, so it'll be easy to tell which is store-bought and which is homemade. But that's not the point. The point is that we are trying these blindfolded, and so we're not eating them with our eyes, we're just eating them with our mouths. So without further ado, let the battle begin. Very light flavor. Well, really not good. Had too sweet. Basic, not a lot of spice. Oh, this is really tart. Not great. What a waste of good cottage cheese. Mmm, <laughs> creamy. It's nice. This is also not the best cheesecake I've ever had. Mmm, marshmallow with a hint of Canada. It doesn't taste as mapley as I thought it would. Oh, it's got a bitterness. Wow. The results are in, and it seems like it's pretty unanimous. Six out of six goes to store-bought. <laughs> There was definitely no competition. I actually wonder if my simple liquid sweetener was actually not sweet enough because it seems to be the problem with all three of these desserts was that they were not sweet enough. Did you taste your sweetener before adding it in? No, I didn't. So it could be said that actually these recipes are not garbage, that my simple syrup was just garbage. However, they have a lot of the same textures. They're just very soft and fluffy, and it's obvious that they've tried to bump them up a bit by using gelatin and water. Yeah, a lot of fluffy, but it was a whole lot of fluffy of nothing. <laughs> yeah, I really felt like diet food. Um, if you call that diet food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. Honestly, these are not going to help me reduce my sugar this month. You may be better off just eating something really sweet and getting tired of sugar. Like this cake. Bye. Thanks for the face. <laughs> Is she pranking me? Am I getting punked? 